everyone. Today we will continue reading this book about dinosaurs. <clears throat> the book's title is Everything You Need to Know About Dinosaurs. Fossils. We know that dinosaurs existed because they have left fossil remains in rocks that form at the time. When the fossil of the, a dinosaur is found, a team of scientists called paleontologists get together. They excavate it or dig it out of the ground. The fossil parts are then taken away to a laboratory to be examined. Site workers map the photograph the fossils when they are in the ground. Once the fossils are removed, they are wrapped in plaster of Paris to protect them from breaking. If the hard parts of an animal buried in rock dissolve away, a hole called a mold may keep the original shape. Sometimes the mold fills with minerals that harden to form a fossil cast. When an animal dies, it may be covered in mud. Over millions of years, the mud becomes rock. The animal's hard parts turn into stone fossils. We can find the fossils when the rock wears away. Paleontologists use picks, hammers, and chisels to remove a fossil from the surrounding rock. In soft ground, they use a trowel instead. Brushes are used to sweep away soil gently from the bones. And you can do this too. Creative Corner Vocabulary Fossil is the remains of an animal or plant that died long ago, preserved in rock. Paleontologist is a scientist who studies fossils in Asian life, including dinosaurs. The Triassic Scene For the Triassic period, life on Earth had existed for millions of years, but most of the animal species or types had become extinct or died out just before the Triassic. The beginning of the Triassic was a bleak time. The species that survived and others that developed from them filled in the world again. Among them were the first dinosaurs. All of the land on Earth was drawn together as one huge continent known as Pangaea. The climate was generally hot and dry, but there was enough rainfall for many species of of plants to survive. The Permian extinction. As little as one tenth of all animal species on Earth survived the mass extinction that came just before the beginning of the Triassic, called the Permian extinction. In the seas, trilobites, sea scorpions, and some coral groups were wiped out. The first dinosaurs lived alongside other groups of reptiles. Flying reptiles called pterosaurs soared in the skies. Other reptiles called aethosaurs with armor, rhinosaurs, and cynodonts lived on land. Crocodile-like cro reptiles called phytosaurs lived on land and in the water. We can learn a lot about Asian animals or plants by comparing their fossils with modern species. Plant fossils from the Triassic reveal that the trees were mostly conifers. The ground plants were mainly ferns and horsetails. These grew in damp areas. And these three pictures is the plants. Vocabulary. Climate is the average weather conditions in a place. Extinction is when an animal or plant species dies out altogether. Mass extinction is when very many species die out in a short time. Can you find a reptile with armor? 
Can you find a flying reptile? Can you find a crocodile-like reptile? In the seas and skies. The reptiles that took over after the Permian extinction in the early Jurassic period adapted to live in many different surroundings. Some reptiles develop wings for gliding or flying through the skies. Many land, land reptiles went back to live in the sea. The reptiles of the seas and skies were not dinosaurs. Pterosaurs were flying reptiles. They appeared at the same time as the dinosaurs and ex existed throughout the age of dinosaurs. The earliest pterosaurs lived by the sea and hunted fish. Escaptosaurus was a long eel-shaped creature that swam with S-shaped wings of its tail and narrow body. It steered through the water using its webbed feet. Why do some animals go back to the sea? The, the seas are full of fish and shellfish, all good food. Wherever there is something to eat, some animal will evolve to hunt and eat it. Gliding reptiles. Some little reptiles, such as this cuneosaurus, had broad wings of skin stretched between long ribs of bone. They used these wings to glide from tree to tree, or from cliff top to cliff top. Northosaurus used its long, strong legs and wet feet for clambering over seaside rocks and for swimming. Its long, narrow jaws, which were lined with fang-like teeth, were ideal for snapping up fish. Placodus lived like a modern walrus, gathering shellfish from the seafloor. This sea reptile used its flat outward, pointing teeth to scrape off the shellfish, which it then crushed with its large back teeth. And you can do this. Creative corner. The first dinosaurs. The first dinosaurs appeared almost 230 million years ago. They belonged to a family of reptiles called the archosaurs. The earliest dinosaurs, such as Herrasaurus and Eraptor, were all bipedal hunters. When these creatures lived, dinosaurs were small and not very common. Marasicos and Herrasaurus look very similar, but scientists can tell from details in the hip bones that Herrerosaurus and Marasuchus was another type of dinosaur. And this is a picture of the Marasuchus skeleton. Eoraptor chased prey through low-growing forest plants in what is now Argentina and South America. This fox-sized dinosaur was probably a very fast runner because it had a light body and long, strong legs. Like all other dinosaurs and their relatives, Herasaurus had a hole in its skull between the holes of its eyes and nostrils. This hole would have made the school lighter. It would also have provided more room for muscles and may have housed a salt gland. And these are some dinosaurs pictures. Vocabulary bipedal it is an animal that uses only two legs for walking. A salt gland is an organ in the schools of some reptiles and birds that helps to remove salt from the blood. Amazing! 
Harassers and Eraptor could stand almost upright and run on legs that were straight below their bodies. Most other reptiles in the Triassic had legs that sprawled out to the side. Catching food. The early dinosaurs probably fed on the small lizard-like reptiles that were around the time. The dinosaurs either snapped up their prey using their powerful jaws or grabbed it with their bony fingers.